Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Talking Sports Podcast. After some exciting games last weekend in the NFL, we're now moving on to the championship weekend. Today, we're going to be giving our picks for the AFC and NFC championships and our updated Super Bowl winner. Today, we have a special guest, Leo Pascalides. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. And we're also here with uh, Donovan West, the uh, reigning pick winner from last week. Went three and one. Henry had a two and two rough week for Henry over there. You know, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. Um, and I'm Henry, so let's get right into it. So the first game that we have is the Ravens versus Chiefs in the AFC Championship. Donovan, who we got? I went the Chiefs last week. I have the Chiefs as my Super Bowl pick uh, to win it all, and I'm, I'm going to ride the Chiefs. I think the best quarterback wins in the, play, wins in the playoffs. Uh, so I got to go with Mahomes and Andy Reid. Uh, Travis, Travis Kelsey had his best game in a while last week. And um, they proved they can win on the road in Mahomes' first road playoff game. So I think uh, playing in Baltimore Baltimore will be no different. Uh, I think Mahomes will find a way to win this game. Leo, what do we got? You ever hear the term defense wins championships? Of course. Well, that Chiefs defense is not winning any championship this year. The Ravens <laughs> will absolutely smoke them in the uh, AFC championship game. Um, I have Lamar Jackson, the Ravens being the Chiefs. And on the NFC side, I have the Niners being the Lions. Listen, I like the Lions, but Jared Goff is not beating that Niners defense with Nick Bosa, um, uh, Ch- Chase Young. Yep. I mean, you're not beating those guys. I don't care. You know, listen, I love the Lions, but newest head coach, not the best, not the best team to beat the Niners right now. I have Niners and Ravens in the Super Bowl, and then the Ravens beating the Niners overall. Those are some good picks. I'm going to have to ride you there with the uh, Ravens over Chiefs, though, Leo. I'm 100% with you on that defense. I think the Ravens just have one of those special defenses in the NFL right now. they got Kyle Hamilton, the second-year defensive back out of Notre Dame. He's just been phenomenal all year long. Um, he's got a few interceptions, a few tackles. I mean, he's just been one of the best safeties all around in the NFL. And, I mean, it's hard to argue when you have the MVP at your quarterback slot. Uh, Lamar Jackson is the favorite right now to win the MVP, and I think that the Ravens are going to get it done and find themselves in the Super Bowl. I, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know if Lamar can get it done, but we'll see. I guess the running back, the running back quarterback. Yeah, the running back. We'll they, see. They don't have great receivers. You said the Chiefs, the Chiefs defense. I don't know. I think they're good enough. Uh, and yeah, I just I trust Mahomes. Get ta- in the NFL wants Taylor Swift in the Super Bowl. We know that, so maybe um, they. Well, I don't, so that's more <laughs> important. Yeah, I, I don't know if I want to see Taylor Swift there. Got to be honest, personal opinion might upset some of the the Swifties out there. But I hope it doesn't upset next. Honestly, I, I hope I hope they are offended by this podcast. <laughs> All right, and the next game we got is the 49ers Lions. So Leo has already given his pick with the 49ers, a very well rounded team. I'm gonna have to. Pose Leo, and I'm going to go to the Lions. I think that the Lions are America's team right now. I think everyone is rooting for the Lions, and I think with America on their side, there's America's nothing. Team. Dude, I mean, come on. Dallas, no, yeah, no, Dallas no way. Dallas loses every time. You got to win a playoff game to be America's team. So I think the Lions are America's team this year. And I think the 49ers looked really shaky last week against Green Bay. They did. They did. I think that that defense showed that they do have some flaws. I mean, still probably a top three defense, maybe the best defense. Um, but I'd, I'd I think say Ravens are playing a little better now. The yeah. 49ers definitely have some secondary issues, but I mean, they're just so well-rounded. So I don't know how you can pick the Lions, but go on. Well, I mean, the Lions have that electric offense. You know, they got Amon Ross St. Brown. Jameer Gibbs has been an electric running back out of Alabama. Jared Goff has already been to the Super Bowl. He's got that experience that he needs. What is Debo's injury status right now? Yeah, I think I heard Ooh. he's still 50-50, which is big. Yeah, um, yeah. That could be huge, especially with Brock Purdy looking shaky last week as well. Yeah. But also, I think part of the shaky was they what the the first team offense hadn't played in like two weeks, so they might have been a little rusty. They f- uh, they found a way to get a win, and I think, I mean, the Lions are just they've kind of had a fraudulent run here. They've played some easy opponents, not fraudulent, but they just haven't had the hardest opponents. So I, I don't think they've played anyone on the caliber of the Forty ers and uh, I think Brock Purdy will get it done. Well, who's your Super Bowl pick? So, I got the Ravens and Li- Ravens and Lions, and then I'm going to ride the Lions, man. First time in the playoffs. To win the Super Bowl? To win the Super Bowl. First time in the playoffs in 30 years. They get their first win. They get their second win. Why not all the way? 
You said you had, who'd you say? Ravens, Niners, and I think um, what we already saw in the regular season, the Ravens absolutely just kicked them out of the park, and I think it's going to happen again. The Ravens are too high of an offense. The Niners showed they couldn't slow them down, and I think Lamar just runs all over them. You a Ravens fan? No. No? Just, yeah. Uh, I got the 49ers Chiefs. I still had that last week. Um, I still think there's going to be a rematch, and I think the Chiefs will get it done. By the way, Henry, you are you had what? You had 49ers Bills last week, so a big switch up for you. So why are you off the 49ers bandwagon? I'm off the 49ers bandwagon because I thought that they were going to wipe Green Bay. You know, I thought, I thought, hey, Jordan Love, you know, first year starter, he's not going to have much experience. That lines or that 49ers defense, sorry, should should kind of eat him alive. And you know, they really didn't. They didn't show the 49ers were, were really unimpressed, unimpressive last week. Speaking of winning, by the way, my bracket is almost 100 percent besides that Cowboys game. So I always like to say my what, picks have been friend. very accurate wow. up until now. Are you in like That's an impressive. ESPN challenge? Yeah, ESPN or? bracket. Yep. That's yeah. impressive. Way How much money goes to the winner? Like a million or something? I have no idea. Like to be honest. Yeah. It's got to so, be a perfect bracket out there, right? Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, 49ers, Chiefs, both going to win. Got some money on it, too, from Love last it. week. Love it. I think uh, Patrick Mahomes, Brock Purdy, going to be... Taylor Swift gonna walk out at halftime, start performing. <laughs> who's the Who's the halftime performer this year? Isn't it Usher? Usher, Usher, right? Like, isn't it? Usher. I feel like I saw an advertisement this year, like during one of the playoff games. I honestly have no idea. It is Usher. Yeah. yeah. What? Maybe Taylor will walk out. The Chiefs go. Who knows? Yeah, who, Maybe they do who a duet or something. Usher, bro. That's like <laughs> <laughs> haven't heard from him in a while. <laughs> like five years ago. They need Taylor Swift then. I'll yeah, pass, I'll pass. <laughs> I was about to say. I just, I just turn off the TV. Jason Kelsey, you don't like that? Oh, I love Jason Kelsey. Oh, oh, come on, I'm an Eagles fan. I mean, I love Jason Kelsey, but I'm a I mean, Kelsey he gets hater. down without anyone. You saw him at the Bills tailgate Dude, last Jason week. Jason Kelsey's going to the Chiefs. It's gonna happen. He was so happy there as a Chiefs fan. He loves his brother. He was. He's a true. He's a true man of the people. Jason Kelsey. Well, I think that that's going to just about wrap it up for this week's episode of Talking Sports. Um, so now we've given you our picks for the AFC and NFC championships as well as our winner. And we will be back in two weeks for our Super Bowl matchup and winner as well. Thank See you for joining us today. Chiefs and Taylor Swift because I'm winning. Chiefs big winning. trust, big trust. Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. Wow, a lot of confidence here out of the, out of the kid, Donovan West. You know, 3-1 and one last week. He's on a high horse. We'll see how he does. 2-0. and oh. He's, he is 2-0. Oh. I'm going 2-0 oh this week. Oh, he's, he's always calling a shot. Well, that that's going to wrap it up. You know, we got Donovan West with a lot of confidence. Leo, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, I'm Henry Silva. I'm Donovan West. I'm Leo Pastudis. And thank you for joining us on this week's episode of Talking Sports.